Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Scott Plate. I'm Vicki Busser. I'm Greg Daniels. We are the people you're going to see in the room when you come in to the door. Vicki will greet you at the door, and you'll be prepared with your material, and then you'll let it fly. But the main thing we want you to understand is that it's really important for you to be yourself. Now, what does that mean? Being yourself means doing material that you really connect to so that you can communicate what your what would you say? Your who you are yeah. and your passion for musical theater. We want to see you. We want to see your love of this material. We're not expecting you to be perfect, but what we can't teach is a real passion and love for this material. It get it gets really easy to be like nervous and to want to be like perfect but perfect people honestly aren't that interesting to spend time with so <laughs> like use your use your experiences to like inform what you're doing and um just be yourself they don't want to see what you think the character should be singing the song they don't want to see the emotion that you feel like should be behind the song they want to see what you can bring to the song and what's your story and why did you pick this song to show who you are with you know why did you pick this song as your first impression the first part of the audition is the the prepared musical material and there's some piano skills do not freak out about that they're an oral skill test do not freak out about that it's just an assessment and then you have a master class with a guest artist, a casting director agent from New York that you're welcome to watch. And you're actually watching that casting director or that agent from New York evaluate our students on the spot, sophomore through seniors. They will literally give their honest appraisal of those students. So you can get a sense of what our students look like, where they are in their four-year process, and what the agents and casting directors think about them. Oh, yeah, we, we got here and uh, they all got us together and we sat in our master class and watched everybody sing and it was like the coolest thing ever. Oh, it's I was I was in awe because like we the got to see time. the seniors like that year who were graduating yeah. and it, it was great to see that and see what if we went to the school what we could be and that was really nice to see that. Yeah. But there's also, after you sing your two numbers, you will also do a short monologue. So the monologue um, can be from a contemporary or a classical piece. Uh, it should be age appropriate. Not in dialect. No. And it should, you should have read the play. So if you find a monologue that you really connect to online that does not have, it's a standalone, you should be prepared to talk about it, although we may not ask you any questions, as though it were part of a play, if that makes any sense. So really figure out the given circumstances. So songs, monologues, master class, opportunity to meet with our students in a round table mm -hmm. so you have an opportunity to interact with current students who will answer any questions you have about life at BW, um, a, a chance to interact with faculty who are running the various portions of the audition day. You'll find people really helpful and accessible. And then they have seniors and juniors, MTs yeah, around that you can ask questions and do ask questions because that's... Oh, yeah. That the number one thing you're gonna get there and be like, oh my gosh, what is going on? And then some upperclassman is gonna come up and save your life and say, hey, you look really confused. I'm here to help. And you're like, oh yeah. And they are here to help. That's, they really are. It's really nice. My audition day um, was an extremely comfortable situation. I found through the seven or eight auditions that I did, I um, it was the most relaxing and very chill. Everybody was there to make you feel comfortable. It was really great. It was like a long day, but it was really cool. Like you talk to all the students and you really get a feel for like what it would be like to, to go here. Um, it was a little nerve wracking because you know, you get nervous, you get the jitters or whatever right before you walk into the door. But as soon as like Vicky walks to the door, she greets you, she shakes your hand, like you feel at home. And then after you do your little gig, you're done and you're a little nervous. But then there's so many people there to help you and like encourage you, so it's like all the nerves just go away instantly. Here, every single person um, was like a potential, you know, uh, future member of the program. So it was, my audition day was really great and really nice and I felt really positive about it. 
at the end of the day, we're going to take you over to Mr. Greg, who is our head of dance, who is fabulous, who is the who will be running the dance call. And anything you want to say? Uh, we'll be doing uh, two combinations. Uh, Sarah Whale, who is my colleague, teaches all ballet and modern. Uh, she will be teaching a short ballet combination, uh, followed by I will teach a short jazz combination. Don't freak out if you've never had a dance class in your life. I love it. Then I get to start with you from square one. So don't freak out. Be yourself. Wear something that makes you feel good. Wear something that makes you look good. Wear something that you're comfortable in because you will be moving. And just come in and we laugh. We clap. We have a great time. We want you to have fun at the dance call. I just want to see what your level is. So don't worry about it. Went over. Um, I met Greg at the time and um, I got to dance with him. It was like a jazz combination. It was really cool. No, I, I, I love it. I love the dance call. It was a lot of fun, a lot of hard work. Just um, It was really like um, they want to see like you yeah. through your dancing. You know, like you don't have to be the best dancer. No, that's why you go to school. Yeah, that's what you're here I mean, for. Yeah. You're here to learn and you're here to work. So. Yeah. Whether or not you have the best technique or if you haven't had a dance class in your life, but if you'll go out there and give me 110%, you're the person that I want to work with. Dance call was a lot of fun because um, I, I'm not particularly a dancer, uh, but but it, you know we they, we we had a good time. We were all like laughing and, and yelling and stuff like to get started. And then and then when we got down to, to actually doing the dance call, it was it was a lot of fun. It was a good good combination, something that I could actually do. So so it was fun. I would love for you to have a pair of ballet shoes and a pair of jazz shoes. And again, please don't wear jeans. I would love, ladies, I'd love to see you in a pair of leotards, a leotard and a pair of tights. And guys, I'd love to see you in a pair of athletic pants and a t-shirt. It was really cool. Like, I didn't expect it to be as personable as it was, you know what I'm saying? Like, they were really interactive. It wasn't like, do this, and I'm just going to, you know, be blank-faced. Like, they smile. You know, it wasn't like... You know, I'm not going to tell you how I'm feeling or I'm not going to show you what I think. Just remember, everybody is nervous in an audition situation. We are too. <laughs> <laughs> but we want you to be really good. We're on the other side rooting for you. We That's what you're really thinking. are rooting for you. And we appreciate the fact that you're going to come spend an entire day with us at Baldwin Wallace. Because we want you to know who we are and what we do. Hope to see ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.